Our first dance was West Coast Swing. And this was a beginning class, and we're gonna go through the five basic patterns, and we're doing them on two different sides for you. First was our sugar push, our rhythm pattern being a double and two triples. So we will go a one, two, three, and a four, five, and a six. From the other view, opposite side, we're just going walk, walk, triple step, triple step. Man leaves his hands out nice and low and solid for the lady out front. Guys, your elbows never pass the rib cage. Yes? Second pattern, underarm pass. Underarm pass, it go, I'm sorry. We're gonna do a side pass first. Get this in order. Side pass goes walk, walk, triple step, triple step. When we anchor, ladies, you're gonna anchor in number three foot position, so is the gentleman. His right foot back, ladies, left foot back. Ladies, sit back on that left foot. Sit back, sit back, sit back. Okay, side pass again from the other view. And a one, two, three, and a four, five, and a six. Gentlemen, notice that every single pattern starts with a man stepping in the direction he wants the lady to travel. Okay, underarm pass. And a one, two, three, and a four, five, and a six. Same underarm pass, different view, and a one, two, three, and a four, anchor right there, and stay right there in place. Fourth pattern is a tuck. We're gonna call this a two-hand basic tuck. Takes two hands to make it work, okay? She's gonna alter her rhythm pattern to a walk, walk, tap, step, triple step. That's a double, delayed single, and a triple, Gentlemen, you're going to stay with the walk, walk, triple, triple. So it goes. A one, two, split the hands, point down line of dance, and let her walk under the hand. Okay? Again, a one, two, three, four, five, and a six. When we finish, our shoulders are slightly open versus squared. So we're slightly open. Fifth pattern, a whip. Closed dance whip, basic whip, takes Eight counts versus the six on the previous four goes like walk, walk, triple step, walk, walk, triple step. Okay? Again, and I'm going to reverse Janet over to the other side so you get a different view. And it goes one, two, three, and a four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes? Ladies, real quick on the whip, watch my feet. You're going to do a walk walk turn back together forward that's your triple walk step back and anchor in place yes that's the challenging step for the ladies whip thanks very much for the west coast swing beginner class that we did this was just a beginner class to get some uh, folks uh, confident with some basic six count patterns we did underarm turn and sugar push so we'll demonstrate those for you right now we started with our underarm turn just make sure that the guys uh, leads the, with the left hand at waist level make sure his palm is facing in and not up it makes it a lot easier for the ladies to turn her palm down right on top of the guy the free hand will be floating we start with our feet in our third position guys stepping back on count one ladies stepping forward, nice small steps. On two, he locks across. On two, also at the same point, he's rotating this palm so that the hand is right in front of her face. He's also rotating his upper body at the same time to make this more comfortable for the turn. On three and four, we do our triple step. Three and, noticing that I'm letting my arm relax across my body, I'm also looking back over my left shoulder toward the guy. He's lowering the hand back down to waist level, stepping both of us to the side so that we match each other, mirroring uh, that side step on four and then anchor five and six in third position. Make sure that count six, the foot is behind because you want it will make you anchor and be really solid and grounded before you lead into the next move. We'll do that again, underarm turn. We've got one, two, triple three and four, anchor five and six. Again, one, two, triple three and four, five and six. It's important, like I said, for the ladies as a following tip, that we allow the, the tone in the arm to remain elastic so that we do not just turn as one robotic movement, but we let the arm go across in front of the body. So watch how that happens. Same thing, one, 
two right here, three, and the arm goes across four, five, and six. And it's important, guys, that you don't have to pull the arm down. It should just float back down. Then we worked on our sugar push, another six count basic. As a guy leads into it, he can ask for the second hand on one, two. There's an important compression here on three and. The, lady, the heel of the lady's hand can compress against his hand. And it's a nice strong compression because it gives him the leverage on three and to send the lady back down the slot on four, five, and six. And we'll start it again. Sugar push one, two, compress three and four, five and six and making sure when we do that compression the hands stay low at waist level all right watch where the hands are placed they're nice and low three and four five and six the ladies are doing a french crossing triple on the three and as she crosses back and back five and six we can alternate these two moves obviously if we did underarm turn and sugar push together one two three and four five and six sugar push two three and four, five and six. Again, underarm two, three and four, five and six. Sugar push two, three and four, five and six. All right, so we did that and just hopefully developed some nice uh, basic technique and some smooth styling and some confidence. Remember to smile and have fun. And Teaching a beginning West Coast swing class here at Worlds on Saturday. Shelby has been kind enough to join me to help demonstrate these patterns to you. We started out with a right side pass or an underarm turn. We're looking at setting up three things as we start off. We want to make sure that our elbow is slightly in front of us. We want to make sure that the hand is down, not up, and it remains there. And we want to make sure we have connection to the hand slightly by shifting the center with the back over it slightly back to the heels, getting a little bit of connection into the hand. Now here's your footwork. Ladies come forward on one as gentlemen step back. Ladies come forward on two, men step across two and bring the hand up. Then we're going to do a three and four, back in the slot on four, and then finish an anchor step five and six. Now gentlemen, I want to review your footwork. Understand that getting the basics down perfectly right from the very beginning will make all of the intermediate advanced level patterns that you learn and do much, much better. You step back on one, it's an arm lead. Out of the way two, the arm comes up. Do a three without stepping forward, three and back in the slot on four, the hand comes down on four. Make sure that you let the hand move through the slot with the lady so that you're not keeping her too close. Then finish five and six in a nice third foot position. The lady's footwork is forward one, forward two. Starting to turn as the man brings the hand down, three and four, making sure you cross in front, and then finish in a nice third foot position, five and six. We'll show you that one more time. Underarm turn with one, two, three and four, five and six. Now we do a left side pass also. The man steps back on one and out of the way to his right. The lady's footwork is virtually the same as the right side pass. It's one, two, three, and four, five, and six. As you can see, the lady's footwork was the same. The man's footwork is like this. Back on one, out of the way at a back diagonal on two, making sure you don't move sideways, but still down the slot and out of the slot at the same time. Then we'll bring the feet together, three and, starting to rotate the body, step forward on four, back into the slot towards the lady, and finish five and six. We'll demonstrate that one more time. One, two, three and four, five and six. Gentlemen and ladies, remember that you do not have to pull her through. You're basically opening a door and she'll move through on her own. So there's no need to pull the hand behind you and try to pull her across the slot. Remember that the concept of West Coast is the man opens the door, gets out of the way, and the lady runs through. In addition to that, we did sugar push. We started in single hand hold. You can start in two hand hold if you're already there. Man steps back, lady steps forward. Man steps back, lady steps forward, we take the hand on two, we do a triple step. Three and, and man steps forward, lady steps back on four, finish five and six. Remember I suggested guys that since that's not slot oriented, that you don't use that as your thinking pattern, you use your right and left side pass. We'll demonstrate that one more time. One, two, three and four, five and six. 
Then we talked about the whip. I want to make sure and put that on tape for you. This is the footwork. I'll talk you through it slowly. Back on one, lady comes forward. Man takes the hand at his right side on two to keep her at the slot. The lady steps forward on two and doesn't rotate yet. She actually rotates on two ends, so we're going to split that up in a little more detail. She's forward on two. Now, I don't have footwork on two and as the guy, so I'm going to rotate her two and. Then as I do my three and, I send her back three and. I bring her forward on four with my arms. Three and four is an arm lead. I bring her forward. As I step across, then I open my right side and bring my feet together, five. Let go with my right hand, send her out six with my left, and finish seven and eight. So the man's footwork is back on one, out of the way on two, hand at the right side, turn her two and. Arm leads on three and four as I do three and four. No arm lead, keep your frame constant, open the right side, five, let go, six, seven, and eight. The woman's footwork is one, two, and three and, make sure you get the feet together and you travel, it should not be in the slot, four, rotate five, back six, finish seven and eight. We'll demonstrate that one more time. Forward one, forward two, turn two and, move three and four, out five, six, seven and eight. That's Beginning West Coast Swing with Risa and Shelby. Thank you very much Thank for you, helping Risa. me. And thanks for joining our... We're going to start right with the basics, bypassing the concept or the description of the slot of an, and the lead and the follow and, and all of the styling things that go with this. And just try to make sure that we work this as a rhythm dance. West Coast Swing being slotted. We do a basic sugar push, having the man step back. And a little bit more tapping, stepping forward with the sugar push, ladies. On the right foot, men on the left foot, it looks like this. And one, two, and three, four, five, and six. And your basic footwork is the lady walking straight forward on the right foot. Walk, walk, and we had her simply kind of breathe or flex in a little bit here. Tap, stepping back, triple step. Now there is some body things that go on in here that I don't have time to describe. Uh, hopefully you can give me a call if you have questions. We also took that same sugar push and showed variations for the lady. For the man, I have him stepping back, back a little more, and instead of tapping right here to the side, we both pointed or tapped to the right side of the lady, left side man, for a nice line, and that can be uh, a nice toe point, okay? And then stepping, pushing her back, triple step. We also showed the concept of hook and step for the five and six, so if you want to do that, hook and step in the end of your sugar pushes. And then we did an underarm pass, which is one, two, three, and four, five, and six. That's the man and lady changing sides, basically. Man steps straight back with his left foot at a slight diagonal, very slight diagonal with his left foot. And one, crossing in front onto the rail, two, three, and four, five and six and the ladies could do the hook and step or body roll at the end of that we took underarm pass did several of those showed variations with the man doing a back cross and a side point onto the rail with his left foot so he goes back cross point to the side not bad there and then he comes right into the track and triple steps again so that it would look like this if i were the guy for the camera this way, I would go back, I'm going to cross here, and it's a straight, I'm right up on the rail, and my left foot then side points here, and steps in, triple step, okay? From there, we went into a little bit of the body isolations and talking about using the hips and using the body and dancing the and beat. And the last thing we did is came through with an underarm pass to a sugar push strut, and it's one two, three, and four, five, and six with a sugar push. One, two, on, and three, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. You can use your body and pop the little movement. One last time for the sugar push strut, and it's one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Making sure you keep your feet underneath your body, not out too far, and it's the edges of the feet. If you have any questions, that's a real quick overview. 
But give me a call. I do have videos with all these moves. My name's Gloria Casey Dwight. On what I call a right side whip. Technique wise, first, I'd like to just show you what I do in a whip. Four beats one direction, four beats back, just a regular whip. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Nothing fancy. Now, Craig is going to keep that on his right side. We're not going to take it all the way around. And we're going to go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Guys, you're going to do regular foot pattern. Ladies, uh, I want you to do regular foot pattern also. Don't vary it. Then what we did is we opened it up into two hand position. We did that from a sugar push. We got to sugar push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. I gave the guys this little press action that he can do on three, hold four, five, stepping in on six. Your foot pattern, guys, is I'll do it with my back. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if we do it like that with just Craig doing his pattern, we have one, two, three, four, five steps, six, seven, and eight. Okay, ladies, I gave you a little pattern where you can do one, two, three, and point, and five, that's a touch, and six, that's a step because we're going to do an outside tuck, seven, and eight, and walking into one. So now Craig's going to give me a tuck on the end of this, and we've got one, two, three and touch and five, six, seven and eight, underarm turn, one, two, three and four, five and six, okay? Guys, on this one, you can choose to use a stall if you want, or you can go ahead and just do real time. Has a tuck, I'm gonna go through just the tuck for the guys. Gonna bring me through on count four, one, two, three and four. Guys, you're gonna walk her forward on count five, you're bringing both hands forward. On count six, you're gonna lift that left, bury the elbow. That's six. Ladies, I need for you to step on six. Hand's gonna go over the top of the head. Seven and, notice I'm underneath the hand. Guys, stay in with the ladies. Don't let her travel. Eight, and stepping out on eight, and then you're ready for one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We'll take that visual again one more time so that you can see it from the sugar push, Craig. We have one, two, smile, five and six, and one, two, three, and four, and five. Tuck, seven and eight, lead one, two, three, and four, five, and six. The other thing that we did, is we did this little syncopation on the end. It's not really a syncopation, it's a styling of a, of a triple step anchor. And it's one, two, three, and four, five, and six, lead one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And we followed it. Guys, your foot pattern's gonna be, and I'm gonna do it with my back to you, is one, two, three, and you know you're gonna do this. Step on four, starting to counter yourself with that left toe right into the diagonal of the room. You've posted the hand on count four. Must post that hand on count four. Don't move that. Don't move that. You're going to push into the right. Five, coming back on left, six, crossing over, excuse me, and stepping on six, leading back on one. So if I did that without stopping, you would have one, two, three, and four. Post that hand. Push. Five, and crossing over six. Lead one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We'll do that one more time so you can watch Craig's footwork on that. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Okay, guys are looking cool. They're looking really good. Ladies, yes, okay? We can do this syncopation with or without the guys. We don't have to do it with him. We can do it anytime we want, as can the gent. Sometimes you can do it together. One, two, when I do the syncopation, three and four, I'm usually all the way around facing the guy. I'm going to push now into that left foot, five, coming back on the end, crossing over on the six. I like to bring the right toe in, pulling the heel around, and stepping forward, one, two. So if I do that with my back to you, and then ladies, I'll run it sideways. You have one, two, three and four, five and six, and one, Two. And if I do that with Craig, watching the little foot action, you have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Cool, huh? I'm going to have Craig do a sugar push, right side pass from two hands with the tuck, followed by an underarm turn into our syncopation, finish it with an underarm turn. Okay, so sugar push. One, two, three, and four, right side pass, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, underarm turn, and one, two, three, and 
two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Thank you very much. That was our class. We had a great time with you. you were we started off with an underarm turn. One, two, three, and four. Guys are going to be turning into, the, into their left arm for five and six. Five and six, ending up with a hand change, right hand to right. I go for the lady's wrist. Cool. Try that one more time. So from here we have one, two, three, and four, turning five and six. From here, guys, I open up to my left side. I'm going to double prep the ladies. We have prepper one to the right, two out to the left. I hook behind, guys, for count three with my left foot as she goes and three into a grapevine hooking behind. And three and four and five and six. Now, gentlemen, what I've done is I've hooked my foot as I go one, two. I hook the left foot around behind and then just basically unwind the hook. Yeah? So one more time. We have one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Leading the ladies around into a grapevine. Cool? From here, I take the ladies by the left side, gentlemen, into a side pass. We're going to go one, two, triple step three and four, three and four into a side lunge. I'll do that towards the camera in a second here. So one more time. I'm going to go one, two, one, two, triple step three and four four into a side lunge. Guys lunging into the left, ladies are lunging into their right. The flick is optional. Yeah, she could have her foot down on the floor if she would like, or up, or down, or up. Hey, all right, so from here, three and four. Now from here, the easy way out of this, guys, was just to go five, six, triple, seven, and eight. Now we took that and made that a little bit harder. Coming from one, two, three, and four, we both step out of it five, five, she turns six. Now I'm going to turn her seven and eight, guys. I go seven, eight. Seven, and I turn all the way around to place my weight on my left foot for count eight. She went seven and eight. I went seven, eight. Both of us end up with our weight on our left foot. Yeah? Tell you what, just for the sake of uh, memory, let's do this from the top. Ready? We have an underarm turn. And one, two, three, and four, guys. Turn five and six. One, two, hook and three and four and five and six. Walk her out, one, two to the lunge, three and four, five, six, she goes seven and eight. Guys, I go seven, eight. From here, we're gonna do some kick steps. Guys with the right, ladies with the right, we're gonna go one and two and three and four. Guys, moving forward, sliding ladies to, uh, arm, hand down your arm, sorry, as we go three and four. Now, ladies go in five and six, guys go and five, six, with a hook to do the foot change back as ladies continue to do their kicks. So one more time from the kicks. We have guys with the right moving slightly forward, presenting the right hand down, guys. One and two and three and four and five and six for the ladies. From here, we lead her into a side pass, guys, by our left side, stopping her almost like a sugar push. One, two, stop her three. Now we're gonna slide back. Four, five, changing weight, six, into a sugar push, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One more time from the kicks. We have one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, one, change hands, two, touch, three, four, five, six, to a sugar push, three, and four, five, and six. Cool? So we'll try that from the top one more time. We have one, two, three, and four, Five and six, prep one, prep two, go and three and four and five and six, walk one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, sugar push, two, three and four, five and six. Cool? Her footwork will be whatever she wants. Okay? But the eight count pattern is regular eight count. That was one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Guys, I like to take my feet a lot just because it's so easy to just bump and come out. Okay? But if you keep regular whip pattern, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, it will work in regular whip pattern. Okay? Then we carried it on and we did a lot of faking to get through 12 counts. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Notice I had no footwork. <laughs> but it worked fine, okay, 11 and 12. All right, then we went into um, the two-handed shoulder roll. All right, two-handed shoulder roll was from two hands. 
cutting out the slot on the diagonal. One, two, keep your hands up. Three and four, five and six. Remember to follow the lady wherever she ends up. Hopefully it's the correct slot, but if not, you move with it. All right, then we come by with the split burst out of the slot on the diagonal. One, two, three, lead four, and we took it with a free spin. Five and six. Again, wherever she is, it's the correct spot. You sort of move over. Okay. Now, when we did the other one, coming from the, we took her into wrap and a duck out and all that. One, two, three, and four, five and six. Move back to where she is. Cut the diagonal on one, two. One, two, have her start ducking and come out. Three and four, finish the turn, five and six. That was it, right? Do the back flip? You're having a lot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> West Coast during level, well, level three has more than that on it. All right, so we had, we went through this into three and four, five and six, brought her by two, three, and switch direction on four, five and six. Then bring her by, it's an eight count whip. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Piece of cake. You guys are With something really simple for the ladies, we had them just do an extra tap at the end of their anchor step. One, two, three, four, she does an anchor, and touch, okay? Then we talked about later on that she either touched there in front, she could touch across, or she could touch to the side. So we gave you three options on where to touch, okay? Next thing that we did was we worked on something for the guys. Going through your whip, guys. One, two, instead of stepping around with this left foot, we hooked that left foot behind the right foot as you turn on three, and then step across the slot on four, which is going to help her drive into you a little bit more so you can turn five, six, seven, and eight. And that looks like this. One, two, hook, three, step four, five, six, seven, and eight. Next thing we did with the whip was something kind of for both of you, and that was to travel out the slot. We'll do it towards you so you can see it this way. Okay, and we did the whip the same way with the hook for the guys. One, two, three, four, five. We stop the turn right here. Instead of rotating it back to the slot here, we move it over, six, seven, and eight. Watch that all the way through. We'll start out facing directly at the camera here, and then you'll see us move out of this slot that we've created here. One, two, hook, three, step four, five, move over, seven, and eight. We move over on six. Guys, remember we talked about the hand back here and the hand right here. If you squeeze them together, you're gonna to get to a certain point. She's gonna create resistance for you. It's a lot easier to move her if you've got that resistance. Primarily moving her with the right hand, okay? And we did the spin pass at the end because we wanted to talk about spinning moves. And uh, guys, we're taking this hand out to the side on one and across on two so she starts to rotate on her left foot, ladies. So you want to rotate on that left foot and then put your right foot down and keep doing pivot turns around as you do three and four, five and six. Give the guys something cool to do with that. Guys, in the first one, we did one, two, three and four, five and six. So one, two, just touch to the side and then step, anchor step. So once again, one, two, three and four, five and six. One, two, three and four, five and six. And again, we talked about the farther out that you try to reach with that foot, the more it makes you bend this knee. So it's gonna bring you down to the ground and ground you a little bit more. The last thing that we talked about was the, uh, the double touch for the guys. Um, guys, you're doing one, two, we're going to do three and four and uh, five and six, okay? So as you're moving through that, so you've got a double touch with an extra step moving into your anchor step. And that's the one that's going to be the most coordinated with your hands. The count for that once again, one, two, three and four and five and six, okay? As you're going all the way through those. And then uh, we put those back to back quite a few times at the end. Doing your shoulder push, one, two, three. She puts the extra tap in there. We go through the whip, the guys do their hook. You can travel it out if you want. And the spin pass, five and six, okay? That's what we, we started with West, this West Coast Swing Ripples and Rolls class with a open position, switching it into forward and angle so you can get up on the camera. Going with a basic whip, one, two, three, four, five, six. Man putting his weight to his right foot, lady putting her weight to her left. Going for a rock step, 
tuck, stack, triple stack, we bended in what is now a handshake position. The next thing that we did was a left over right, one, two, three, and four, as the lady did a coaster step, a back to the other four, the man stayed on his left foot until the count of five, which he changed his weight to his right foot. From the count of six through eight, he did a ripple, lady to her right, man to his left. Six, seven, eight. From here, the gentleman takes the left hand for a turn and the right hand to the wrist for a wrist break as he brings his feet together, then splits them, takes them behind the back, and goes for a ripple away. Ending and going into a sugar push. The other direction. One, two, three, and four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Lady has four walking steps, putting the hand behind the back by four, rippling away five, six, seven, eight, sugar push, two, three, four. West Coast Swing Dex and Tunnels class, and the material that we taught was like this. Started with the left over right hand position, brought the lady down the slot one, got out of her way with a slight check on the count of two, brought her by three and four. As the lady's doing a triple step, so did the man. The man then hooks his right foot behind on five and six, making sure he gets all the way around by the end of six with his left hand at his lower back along the kidneys. The ladies have just done a touch, point touch, Hold, drawing the right leg in and stepping through on one. One, two, triple step, triple step. The ladies did a forward, cross in front, and go back, back, back. The gentlemen did a forward, side, back with their left, cross in front with their right, back with their left. To review that, going the other direction, did a walk, walk, triple step. As the guys are going for their hook behind, the ladies are pointing with their left together, point with their right, Hold, draw in, and go for the one. Doing that together, it is five and six, one, two, three, and four, five and six. Then we used just to link them without having to do through extraneous patterns. We had done a seven, eight to kill time and went into a one, two with a slight check, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Going the other direction, we had the ladies, um, the ladies make sure that they were attentive to the fact that the men were going to take the hand out for a slight check, and the ladies were going to drop her head to her right. That was a way to make it more comfortable to get through. Ladies continued their pivots down the line, as is Risa doing, so you can watch that a little bit closer. Guys making sure that there was a four separate beat increments. Beat, 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 beat. One, two, three, four. Five, six. That was the two um, patterns that we taught. We taught one of the first one was a thread the needle, and the second one was a traveling pattern ending in a head whip. And we had every now and then for those people who were getting really comfortable with it, a slight lunge at the back end of the head whip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lunge, step. The ladies were finishing up their head whip. The guys felt a little bit bored, so I added on a slight lunge for them. And every now and then, the ladies who got their head whips done were able to do it as well. That was the West Coast Swing Ducks and Tunnels class. There's some great patterns. We started with lady off to the man's side. The man was in front of her. The man did a slight triple step with a hook behind as he brought the ladies to progress past them, passing their feet. Trip step. We did a pop for a directional change, triple step. Did a walk, walk, open for a pose on seven, hold, and come back eight. Went for a one and two, three and four. Quick review of that was one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, triple step, triple step. Coming out of that, we went for a whip. One, two, three, and four. Instead of the gentlemen bringing their feet together, they stepped to their right. Five, six, 
seven, and eight. The ladies ended up with their left foot across in front and their left arm up in the air. The ladies unhooked their leg on the count of one, brought it around. The guys took them for a walk, walk, turn to her lower back, turn her out for a five and six. Gentlemen, make sure that they did not pull the arm up, but actually dropped it down so the lady could unhook and turn around to face them. Continuing from there, we did a right side pass with an account of and three. One, two, and three. Four, the gentleman took his abdomen to the lady's hand by stepping forward onto the four and continuing it and breaking the connection on five, turning back onto his left foot on the count of six, doing a pirouette seven, planting his foot eight, ending in a handshake position. The lady's footwork was as such. Lady did her one, two, and three. Step four, out, and five, in and cross on six. Take the left foot around, seven, hold eight, and the next following piece, as you'll see Risa will do, will be a scuff, one, and two, to come out. So the right side pass that we just did was one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next part, as the gentleman leads the lady out with his right hand to her right hand, lady's doing a scuff. One, two, she'll finish with a three and. Three and four and five on the last one and then hold. Gentleman will, as he goes from here, be going one, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Maybe stand there letting the lady do it. Sorry from across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do it again from the right side pass. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And then the pattern was done. Our West Coast swing class this weekend. We start off with a starting step in third position. We did a triple step towards the audience. One and two, on two, bringing the left hand of the guy's left hip, turn the girl towards him. We lead a back, back in place together, rock step together, just like that. That's a starting step from this angle. Looks like this, third position. One and two, three and four. We use that as a starting step for West Coast Swing as a four count. Directly from there, anytime we're in this position, the one now is gonna be back for the lady naturally. We lead with our right hand to go back. We do a one, two and three. We're doing a syncopated tuck for the lady. She hits a fifth position on and three. Gentleman's left elbow is down. Brace the hand here at her forehead level. She'll naturally turn under. Four, five, and six. We bring the left hand down. Okay, again, the way that looks for the girl. Guys, it's a one, two, touch step, triple. Girls does an and three. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Now we step back on one, leading her towards us. We're gonna snap two and do a check. One snap, two, three, and four. She does a paddle step there, bringing the left hand up, unfurling the hand like so. Gentlemen, we hit a lunge line like this, touching her shoulder blade. Now in, five, in a four, we start to lead her to turn. Five and six, she does another paddle turn. Gentlemen, our right hand now goes to her shoulder blade, and she extends her left hand towards the audience. And on six, we initiate the lead with our right hand, finishing with the left. Seven and eight, the hand comes down. Nine and 10, we do our anchor. Again, the way this looks, we do a catch. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10. Last pattern we did was an inside whip. Instead of doing a basic whip by bringing her in, one, two, three and four, we lead an inside turn, snapping on two, one, turn two three and four. She brings his free hand up over the guy's shoulder. Left hand is down, gentlemen. We're going to do a check on and five. He brings his right foot to his left leg on and, sending her down the line, and five. She does a sit. Hopefully it doesn't pull you off balance. Gentlemen, we lunge forward right foot. And five. It's a bungee cord action. It goes and five and snaps right back out six. And we're going to back up and slide seven and eight. So again, the way that looks from this angle, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight. The entire routine, I'm gonna show it to you from this direction, looks like this. One, and two, three, and four. One, two, and three, turn four. Five, and six. One, two, 
3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5, 6, 7 and 8. And that's all we did in our West Coast Swing class. That's Here today. We started out with a sugar bump, which is a six count sugar push, and it's called a sugar bump, and you'll see why right now. Here we go. One, two, bump, step, triple step, okay. And actually, we don't want to bump too hard, but we want to make that a real smooth roll. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the guy just did rock step, knee up, down, triple step. Okay, what, do that footwork, Mike. So he did rock, step, knee up, down, anchor, step. And the girl's walking forward. Walk, walk, knee up, down, triple step, or anchor step. That was our little starter for this sequence of moves. The next thing we did was he's going to offer me two hands, and I'm going to swivel in. I'm going to do a so swivel and a swivel. Okay. Now he's going to step back on the one, but he's going to go contra or check on that two. It will look like he's sort of swiveling with me on my second swivel. So I'm going to go one, two. Now we're going to turn and point three. And on our and four, we're going to go side cross. We're going to release the hands to a one hand hold and hit this nice matched position here. Okay, then we're going to finish off the anchor with a fan and tap. So we're going to go five and six. That's fan and tap. Okay, so let's do that second sugar push from the two hands. We've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, to get into the next pattern, which is an underarm turn, we're going to do a hitch. So we're going to push away and hitch, step cross. Now two triples, three and four, anchor five and six. Okay. Now from here we just repeated that pattern and did it a few times through so we could get some good practice in. So we're going to start the hip roll again, or the sugar bump. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now sugar push. One, two, three and four, five and six, that's the fan and tap, now the hitch, and one and two, three and four, five and six. Now for fun, I showed you how to do a fan and tap off of a whip. So to do that in a whip, we had to change our structure from a double, triple, double, triple to double, triple, triple. So instead of doing one, two, three and four, five, six, like you do on a regular whip, we do five and six. So we're doing a triple triple in the middle of our whip. And it'll look like this. We've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And you can see we're in that same matched line position that we were in our sugar push on count four. But by changing that double to a triple in our whip, we can be in the same place. Now on seven and eight, we can do fan and tap. Fan and tap and hitch, step, cross, triple step, triple step. Now real brief here, I'm going to give you the footwork for that whip for the guy. He did one, two, three, and four. Basic whip. Now here's where it changes. Instead of a double, five, six, he's going to do a triple, five, and six by doing cross, side, cross. Now he can go fan and tap on seven and eight and hitch and one and two. Now for the lady to do her double, triple, triple, one through four is a basic whip. One, two, three, and four. Now she's gonna do a triple here, five and six. She's gonna go side, side, cross. So then she can go fan and tap, seven and eight, and one and two, three and four, five and six, and Mike's gonna come back and we're gonna do that whip one more time together. Okay, here we go, and whip. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and one and two, three and four, five and six. Now we're gonna put the whole thing together for you starting with the sugar bump. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five and six, sugar push, two, three and four, 
five and six and hitch and cross, triple step, triple and whip, and a one, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and a one and two, three and four, five and six. And that's it. First we started out with a regular whip and showing you in a regular whip how it, usually it looks really smooth, keeping the head straight, facing your partner, and that's how you normally do that in West Coast Swing. We just add a little bit of styling by snapping our heads on three and five, and that is done by not looking at the partner on two and four. So what happens is you go one, two. You still shape your sho shoulders to the right, but stay looking away from your partner. And on three and, you look at each other, three and, and then on count four, four, you look past each other again, and then around on five, six, seven, and eight. It makes it look more crisp. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. A slight variation you can do is snapping on three and six also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We also demonstrated in a side pass. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The ladies can do that on count four on the side pass. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That was just a little bit of styling. Next, we went into a little bit of a pattern here. Sugar push first, three, four, five, and six. Two hand tuck with ladies, figure four. One, two, and three, and four. Keep the hand, five, and six. Do the hammer lock into the swivels or the twists. Two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Coming in on 12 for the double resistance. Coming out, two hand tuck in. One, two, three, four, five and six. Ladies footwork quickly again for that figure four. She walks forward. One, two. She comes up on the and, and she kicks on three, three, comes up on and, and into the figure four, steps on four, and then turns around five and six. Okay, well, I was supposed to keep the hand. And then from here, one, two, three, four. Set the lady and four. But after this point, don't move the hands too much. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Step in on twelve, bring the elbows behind your body slightly. Okay, and try not to pump too much. Okay, from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sugar push, two, three, four, five, and six. Two hand tight, ladies, figure four, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one, two, back out of it. And that's what we did. Once again, my name is Richard Keir. First class we did was sensual West Coast swing patterns using body rolls. But they didn't give us the body rolls class to teach the techniques first. So um, we did at the beginning of the class go over basic, basic ideas on how to do body rolls. All right. Okay. The exercises. Tiffany's just going to show you. Isolations, isolating the rib cage, no moving the hips, no moving up and down on your shoulders, none of this. Okay? Side to side. That's a side to side. Okay, then front you to back. Practice your front to back, pressing front, breathe in, and then back. Now, this is your rib cage, it's not your hips, and it's not your shoulders. Okay? Just the ribs. Just the ribs. Just the ribs. That's okay. the exercise. And those are the exercises you're going to need to do the up body roll, the down body roll, the side, and the side. Okay? That's that. That was that. Now, the patterns that we taught in the West, Accentual West Coast Swing, we're going to do a, just a regular sugar push. Sugar push. <laughs> four. It's going to be a tuck into what we call a butt up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we step off on one. Step on one. So, let's, um, so the body roll, the down body roll is in that move. That's why we did that first. That's right. It was, wasn't it? We're going to do an underarm turn here. Three okay. and four. Change your hands. We're going to come up for one arm. Oh, tuck and uh, send her up. And she's going to do the hippies. It's what we call the hippies, right? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Okay? That's what we did. Just rewind to do it. You'll figure it out. The one that we didn't we'll get to teach. We'll do it one more time, but in, in a second. Yeah. The one we did get to teach, and we said we were going to put it on tape, so here it is. It's what we call the half moon side pass. When you get her over here to do a half moon side pass, guys, just watch what I do, and then go look in the mirror, and then come back and look at it again, and then go back to the mirror. This is the I'm a really cool dancer look. You're going to go and one, 
And on your and one is when the girls go. Okay. Heel up, guys. It's a lunge. It is. So we're gonna go and one hold two, three hold four and yes. five and six and seven and eight and one. And then we go in. Okay. We're not gonna teach that to you. Wait, uh would you chill just a little bit? We have a lot chill. of classes. It's okay. All right, I'd like to do that for ladies one time. Ladies, what it is is you want to press and move forward, and you have to bend your knee to get distance, okay? So you're going to step out on one, hold two. Now, hold doesn't mean stand still. Remember that. You're going to continue moving. One, hold two, three, hold four, and cross front. Five, and six, and seven. I got here early. Let me try that one more time. Took too many steps. One hold two, three hold four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And go on one. Okay? okay. Bring the arm up if you like. That what oh, let's do the patterns again. All, one the more way time, through. all the way through. Okay. Sugar push. One, two, Counselor. three, four, okay, <laughs> five and six. Tuck. Do the butt up. Five and six. One and seven and eight. However, it's gotta be an even number, so any number, even number. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Here comes the side pass right here. We're going to do an underarm turn to the side pass. Five and six and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and see ya. That's it. Patterns from the class. First pattern, we'll be doing them from both sides so you can see it from either side. The first pattern is a cutoff, leading the lady in three and four. Five and six, we did it twice. Two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we did an underarm turn and get both hands. It is slingshot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then an underarm turn, change the hands, wave. Double hand change here. And three, four, five, six. Then just a free spin out of it. Three and four. Now we're just going to switch it to the other side. Again, the cutoff. Two, three, and four, five, and six. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Underarm turn, pick up the other hand. Slingshot. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, change the hands and wave. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Okay, on the first pattern, just a cutoff pattern. Gentleman leads it, stops the lady here. Lady steps and turns and steps back together forward. Back together forward. Gentleman walks out underneath it as the lady does her turn. Um, then we did an underarm turn, picked up both hands. We do a slingshot. It's a little bit of a power lead all the way through. Gentleman doesn't let the right hand step past the center. Keep shoulders down. Lead the lady out underneath the left hand. Second pattern, we did an underarm turn again, hand change. And then we do a two to one hand change. We take both hands over and the right hand comes down to the left and gets placed there. Gentleman keeps a two hand on one hand connection. Then lead both hands. Gentleman does a palm up, change to there, the leverage move out. Lady steps back. From there, all we do is a free spin. And that's it. And once again... Off we started. I'm going to go ahead and start over here. We started with a little ronde. And uh, the lady came forward. She went one, two. You're going to brush the foot forward. Three, four. And then you're going to bring the foot back. Five, six, one. So again, it goes... One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Um, we actually gave that also to the man, and the lady does it on three and four. And basically what you're doing, ladies, is you're bringing your foot forward, you're making a small ronde, and then you're bringing it in like a figure four, and then putting the foot down. Now I'm turning slightly. We want to try to keep our body a little bit facing the man. So when I'm actually dancing it, I'm going to take the foot back. I'm going to still face my partner. I don't want to turn completely around. So we're going to still face the partner. Then we're going to bring the foot in, change weight, and then come forward. Now, to turn this around, it actually is also done for Four, the yeah. guy. And he's going to do it on five, six. So it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. And the lady just does her basic right, um, basic step. To come out of this, you're just going to do a basic step. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, a basic side pass. So again, in a different direction, the, gen the gentleman's going to do his part. One, two, three, and four, five, six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. The next thing we taught was from a whip with a rollout. Um, basically what's going to happen here is we take a whip, a normal whip, one, two, three, and four. You change the hand here. Uh, Robin is going to take me and roll me out. Five. I'm going to go ahead and roll out six. Six, I'm going to stop right here. And I'm just going to do like a little press down. Seven. Bring my feet together. Turn eight. And one, two, three, and four. So again, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four. So a different direction. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four. So ladies, as you're rolling out here, you've stepped side five. You're going to go ahead and pivot down your slot six. And as I pivot out, I'm going to stop the guy here so I don't continue to, to turn. I'm going to stop him, him put, put a little bit of pressure on this hand, and I'm just going to point down and hold seven, bring my feet together eight, turn and one two, three, and four. So again, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. And the gentleman just does his basics um, all the way through. Okay? The next thing we did was... Was the switch... A couple of cut-off type cut -off, whips. Cut-off whips, right. Uh, we'll just do it from here. Okay. Well, this is kind of like a, it's, it's a fake whip. Um, so we're going to cut off this at six beats. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So basically what's happening is as you start your whip, you come in for a whip, one, two, three, and the gentleman lifts his hand, four, turn, five, and six. So a different direction. One, two, three, and four five and six. So gentlemen, as you bring the lady forward to you, you're bringing her forward, one, two. Now, she's going to actually think that she's going back for her back together forward, but you stop her. And then you bring her forward again. Four. And then five and six. So again, and one, two, three and four, five and six. We actually took this pattern and changed it up a little bit and used a reverse whip. So with the reverse whip, it looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. You're actually doing the same thing. The only difference is, is the lady, instead of going into a whip and stepping side, she's actually turning to her left. But actually, you're doing almost the same thing. For the guys, it is exactly the same thing. All right, would you like to add something for the guy? Um, on that particular part. The only thing is the guy needs to hang out on his side, on the left side of the slot. So whenever he does his fake whip, he's going to go one, two, three, and he is not going to step into the slot. His four, he's just going to step directly by the lady. And that's it. That should make it work. Um. What we're doing is this, guys, and I really emphasize the guys a lot because the ladies tend to be able to do a nice whip when the guys lead it nicely. So <laughs> most, most of the footwork. Funny thing about that. Yeah, it's interesting the way that works. <laughs> so one of the first things I noticed uh, about half the men in the class we're doing is this left foot movement. Almost always, for the ones who were having a lot of problems, they were taking that directly to the side, or even worse, taking a slight step forward. Well, guys, what's going to happen there, you're going to tend to do this. You pop that left foot sideways, and you pull that arm. Now what you've done is you've separated your lead on the proper beat. Now you've got a two-part lead, one, two. What you really want to think about, guys, is get a little bit of tension in that arm. So as your shoulder starts to move here, she starts to feel that. When that left foot travels, that left shoulder travels. I'm taking it back and slightly diagonal. 
You notice here, we both get to move almost simultaneously. Sometimes ladies, uh, some of the better dancers might hang back just a touch for a little styling or a little more hip mo uh, movement or some shoulder movement. But guys, watch out for that left foot shooting straight to the side and then getting a strong arm pull to compensate. And even worse, uh, stepping forward. And guys, a lot of times what happens on that forward step is that when you're first learning your whip, you tend to think you're never going to make it around. So you tend to run around your partner by going forward and actually passing her up and then going past her again. Okay? And things like that can happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sometimes we're just running around our partners. And remember guys, you got to hold your territory. So here, be sure you bring your partner to you by taking that left foot back as you complete that rotation, okay? A um, Couple more little things here, just specifically for whip. I really emphasized at first, it's sort of like a t uh, more of a learning tool than a technique. This right foot is the second place to kind of take a look at besides basic lead and follow at the upper body. Uh, and actually I'm jumping ahead a little bit, guys. One of the things that I gave in class, if you might remember or if you're seeing this for the first time, if you want to kind of get a feel for what you what lead might be like in West Coast without the problems associated uh, associated with the hands, is to think about if you didn't have the arms connected, and let's say you were just doing a West Coast basic, how that would kind of feel, just bringing the partner forward and back, using the upper body and the shoulders and, and the various things that we associate with lead and follow. Same thing is going to happen once we come down to here. What you had here, you still want to have here. Okay. One of the things. Uh, Going to the right foot real quick is guys, we tend to a lot of times this right foot gets a little wobbly on us. So I'll see a lot of times a basic dancer doing things where maybe the left foot steps to the side too much, but a lot of times the right foot begins to travel. Even if I get a good a starting lead on my first, uh, when I first initiate the pattern, I tend to get some right foot movement sometimes. And I'll see guys who are stepping all around the area with this right foot. It almost covers a couple of square feet. Guys, what I want to think about here is and this is an exaggeration, remember now. There's a lot of different things that can be done with the right foot step, but, but this is what you want to think about at the early stages. Almost as if that right foot was nailed to the floor. As I triple across the slot, it's very small, it's very tight. I get a lot of rotation. Everything stays real contained, almost as if my foot was uh, stepping on, uh, you know, I had a quarter on the floor and I put my foot on that quarter and I don't want anything to move. So now my whip begins to really work around a pivot point rather than having that right foot dancing all over the place. Let me kind of show you what that might look like. Let me, I'll take it two directions here. Let's take it long ways first here. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Anchor in place or throw your hand up in the air and do a triple loop or something. Let me take it this direction one time. Once again, guys, watching that right foot so you can see how I'm really, uh, really concentrating on keeping it in place. One, two, three, and four five, six, there's my anchor, it does drift away, but you notice I'm sort of finishing the pattern back in my starting spot. Number one reason for that, and this is for the ladies and the guys we talked about, is setting up that wonderful sweet spot right in the middle of the whip where we get that whipping action, and it's when her right foot comes forward. One, two, three, and four. And that's what we're looking for, guys. This, if you kind of, if you kind of get this set up here, you notice I have a nice position here for this pivot that happens during the whip. As I bring her up, I can rotate through, taking the right shoulder back, bring her to the other side, and it uh, makes the whip work out real nice. And real quick here, so I don't get bogged down, because I think we only have, what, an hour for this? Uh, <laughs> just kidding, guys, I don't want to scare you there. Uh, we, I mentioned just a little bit with the right hand about setting up the shoulder and, and how we get a little tension. You'll hear a lot of times this talk about J leads. And sometimes, if, uh, if in a group class you don't get time to get some detail, sometimes the guys tend to think that's really sort of a big sort of action going there. What I kind of tell people uh, um, to think about as they kind of develop their whip is it is sort of a, a J action. And if you're not sure what J lead means, if you kind of picture the letter, like the letter J or a hooked position, that's what the hand is doing. It's coming down, curving back. But it's much more subtle than people tend to imagine. A lot of times I've seen people really make a big kind of movement here. Well, sometimes the problem with that is that the hand starts moving laterally across the slot. Guys begin to pull in thinking that a whip 
is a snapping action that causes her shoulders to rotate. And you really wanna, wanna kinda de-emphasize that. What I tell guys is to think about your hands, they use the slot just like your feet do. So you don't want your feet bobbing sideways, and when you're doing your lead, you don't want your hands bobbing sideways. It's almost like you're uh, dancing in a narrow hallway with the walls right next to your shoulders. So now the hand travels down the wall and then reverses just a touch. And that pressure against her hand begins to rotate the shoulder back. So I bring her forward, I kind of return, boom, and we have this little bit of a rotation here. And I'm basically, I'm timing that little bit of resistance at the same time she's getting that second step in there. One, two. And one of the little exercises we did in class, guys, is to practice the whip without bringing the right hand up and stopping at the halfway point. One, two really taking her pass. So she can kind of feel herself drifting back and you can kind of get a feel for what it's like to try and place your partner from one side to the other side, still in that slot formation, okay? There's a number of other, other small details we did, but I kind of want to, we'll drop through some of those because they were really uh, um, amplifications of the specifics I just kind of mentioned. But guys, as far as your uh, uh, place in all this, Getting control of that left foot, connecting it with the shoulder, getting control of that right foot so that it doesn't begin to bobble around on you, and getting a little comfortable sort of tension in the arm will really help quite a bit, even at the basic levels, getting that whip to start working. Real quick here, I'm just gonna demo two or three different whip patterns that we did. Of course, the first one you may already know is called the whip, okay? And it's just a basic eight count. We're adding two extra beats to a basic six count pattern. One, two, one and two. One, two, one, and two. I'm just counting it off in two beat increments so you can kind of hear the, the, how the units would sound. Uh, we did a uh, basic whip with the lady coming in uh, inside turn under my left, ar uh, left arm. One, two, three, and four, lift. Five, six, seven, and eight. And you guys always compensate for your partner's height, okay? <laughs> it's always your job, okay? So don't make the lady duck, okay? It's, plus don't mess up the hair. Uh, another pattern we did, I'm just doing these kind of quick, a lot of the, you in class had uh, already been doing these, is the pattern where we're taking this left hand and I'm switching it behind the back, okay? Sometimes called an Apache whip. Uh, I'm not sure, there are many different names for that pattern at various parts of the country. One, two, three, and four, switch five, six, seven, and eight. And ladies, what you're looking for there, if a guy has a nice lead on that, let me slow this down a little bit about the halfway point. One, two, three, and four. As this switch occurs, and we bring her to the other side of the slot, I've got to set the lady up so she has this nice right leg extended. So ladies, watch that uh, sort of loose third foot position there, because you're getting ready to roll into a pivot. So that on the next part of the turn, that right leg swings around, steps down. We continue to pivot. Be sure you don't let your foot drift forward and then step down and then try and pop the turn, unless you got a good reason for it. So I don't want to affect anyone's approach here now. So, uh, but guys, that's what you're looking for there on, on things that require the ladies to turn. Even if it wasn't a hand change, I still want to be able to set my partner up so she feels that tendency right there to start rolling back. So guys, if you give her too much time and she gets that foot back, then you're kind of going to be in a little bit, a little bit of a problem because now she's going to want to just twist. And last thing we did was uh, just a little fancier pattern. It wasn't too much. This is where the guy walks out of the whip at the end. I, I, she probably doesn't know what this is. So it'll be perfect. <laughs> so I'll see if I can lead it. One, two, three, and four. Turn five, six, triple step. And on that triple step or push or like a double resistance, it still frees the lady up so she ends up on her left foot. Her right foot is free for any number of variations. Twisting patterns, uh, you can tuck her back here for an additional step. You could bring her straight forward down the slot. Let me do it from uh, this angle one time. Guys, you notice all I'm doing at the end there is I'm just walking out on the seven and eight. One, two, three and four, turn five so that we both have the turn on five, six. Now here on seven and eight, I could just finish up with a number of different positions. Seven and eight. And really that's sort of a transition into fancier patterns, but you'll see that type of thing quite a bit. So the variations was just to give you something to play with. So anyway, I think that'll finish this up. Um, pattern we started, we worked on just the basic whip pattern. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. We gave the guys a little variation. We brought her one, two, three, and four. On counts five, six, we turn and walk with our partner. 
five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Then on the last part, we brought her one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll do that pattern from a reverse angle. We brought her in. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We bring her forward. Guys, you're going to do eight walks. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, triple step, triple step. Or on the end, we gave two more versions. From the five, six, seven, eight, triple step. Check her out in one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Or let her to go seven, eight, triple step, out, bump, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Also, what I had the guys do with their footwork, once they've hit their pose here, they go one, two, three, four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, so we've landed and step and step and step and step and we let her out. Once again, we hope you've had a wonderful time. Hi. I have two men on hand at all times. We start off with star step, triple step, triple step. A weight shift for the man, side rock step, popping his hips, rock step. And ladies, ball cross, step, crunch cross, stepping out. And we went into a press down, Betty Boop extended to seven and eight. And we had the man doing it and the lady. Then we fixed the hands and did an underarm pass. One, two, three, and four, opening up. And we're going to rotate this for the camera. And five and six. We went into our little cross and flip, cross, flip, cross, flip, cross, balance, and did boogies at the end. And that's basically a pattern. We'll show it all together. Let's see if we can get a camera here. Three and four, five and six. One, two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three and four, five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boogie down, boogie down. Bringing the weight back over so you can start. That's the combination. That's